Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here. Welcome to my Sniper Elite 3 collectibles guide. This is starting off with mission 1. There are 6 total collectibles starting off with a war diary. This is not long after you take out a few people. Right at the beginning of the game. Uh, you're just going to want to run up to the right hand side here. Up the hill. And then turn around into the sand bunker near this tank. And for all the collectibles in this game, you're just going to need to walk on them. And you'll automatically pick them up. And I'll be showing a short clip like that after every collectible. Number two, this is a sniper nest, uh, which is actually marked on your map, uh, so that's going to be pretty easy to find for the rest of the levels, but I will be showing them, uh, as there are sometimes are collectibles inside. Um, but once you've taken out all the, um, the anti-air little placements and all the people, you're going to want to climb up into this nest and go up onto uh, this window to take down one of the boards, which will also unlock your sniper nest. Now, if you look through the sniper nest, and into that white building all the way across there. You're going to need to scope in and probably use your uh, breath. And you're going to want to kill that guy all the way in that window. And you'll get a little long shot in the right hand side of your screen. Number four is a collectible card going from this sniper's nest. We're going to kind of make a little bit of a circle here. As it's all a big open area so it doesn't really matter which order you do this in. But um, yeah, this is how I recommend it. Now watch out, there will be some new guys who have spawned uh, if you've completed the objective. I obviously screwed up and didn't hit that guy properly. Um, but you're just going to want to go through here on the right hand side through this little cave system. I'll be showing you the map again once I get to the new location of the collectible card. So don't worry if you get a little bit lost. Uh, you shouldn't have a problem here. Um, this is one of the other camps with another one of the guns. You're going to want to go up into this little uh, outpost. I'll show you the map right here I believe. Um, no, I actually don't end up showing it until a little bit later. Uh, so you'll walk up to them and pick up your first collectible card. Now go down and we're going to go for our War Diary. This is our third War Diary of this level. Uh, go down and we're going to go to another one of the campsites here. So if you come down here, there will be a new enemy who has spawned if you've uh, shot your sniper rifle for the long shot. He got, I got spotted so I just killed him. Now you're going to want to make your way into this little tent. And I'll show you the map right here, actually. That's exactly where I'm located. And if you make your way inside the tent, you can pick up the War Diary. Now, that's all the collectibles that are on your collectible screen. However, you will need all weapon upgrades in order to complete the game 100%. So to do that, you're going to want to um, go to this area and kill this enemy that I'm going to be looking at in a second here. Not that one. There's two enemies that roam in this area, and one of them comes under this tent. You're going to have to kill him, and then you're going to have to loot his body. Now, I've already kind of done that, so I'm going to be basically be fast-forwarding, like, kind of uh, editing magic here. But if you loot his body, this is what will happen. You'll get a small weapon upgrade in the bottom right-hand corner. That's one of 15. Uh, click here for the mission, too. And feel free to use this screen for anything on the screen. Thanks for watching. As always, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Peace.